Hello everyone, today I'll show you how to use the Chroma or Photoshop action and before we get started, let's view a few examples. So you need to open your main image and mark your main subject area and then run the action. So the action tries to create an abstract palette knife style painting with lots of color strokes and while also trying to simulate the main uh, brush strokes of realistic painting. So this is what you'll get. This is that full resolution of this image. And so there are diff different variations that you can try. And this is a darker variation, a background with a darker variant. And let's see some more examples. Here is another one. Here are a few more. You can vary this intensity uh, of the strokes of this colored pattern, and uh, we'll get into details when we'll run the action and discuss the elements which are generated okay so let's open our image we'll use this one and before we get started we need to take care of few things we need to check few settings before we run the action to do that go to image mode and make sure RGB color and 8 bits per channel is selected then click this flyout menu and select panel options and make sure use default masks on fill layers and add copy to copy layers and groups are selected next your image must be a background uh, lock clear if you made some operations like cropping or something else and it turned your layer into layer 0 then you need to turn it to a background lock clear Otherwise, the action will not work properly. To do that, go to layer, new, and background from there. So, as you can see, it has been turned into a background lock layer. And regarding image size, you can go to image, image size, and I recommend you use images of resolution 2000 to 3000 pixels. And so you can vary the image size and experiment out with a bit uh, of the image of the painting strokes that are generated after the action is uh, finished running. But I'd recommend you use images uh, within the size of 2000 to 3000 pixels. Okay, now let's load up the files. To do that, click open, file, and then go to open and select the four files which comes in the download package Chroma to brush, Chroma to patterns, Chroma to Photoshop action, and Chroma to tool presets. Select all of them and hit open. So if you're using Photoshop CC 2018, you might get a prompt here to load the tools as a brush or load them as tools. Make sure you load them as tools and not as brush. So if you're using lower version of Photoshop, so it will be fine. It will be loaded just as you saw here, no prompts. But if you're get using CC 2018, so you might get the prompt and you select load as tools. So uh, one more important, very important thing regarding the brushes is that uh, click your brush tool and make sure your mode is normal, opacity is 100% and flow is 100%. So these uh, parameters must be set like this for the action to work properly. Next, let's create our main subject area, our selection of the subject. To do that, create a new layer above this background layer and rename it as subject. Make sure subject is in lowercase. It has to be in lowercase for the action to work properly. Now I'll mark our main subject area. Just I'll select the background and uh, you can use any technique but I'll use the quick selection for this image. Typically select our subject area. We'll try to adjust this selection, fine tune it. Okay, you need not to be perfect, uh, just create a proper rough selection around the main uh, subject. 
and now let's fill it up with any color make sure you again select this subject layer and not this background layer and uh, fill it with any color I'm flipping a brush from here and any color and I'm just filling it with the color you can use any other method paint bucket or alt and backspace to fill it with the color of, for, of your foreground one so now I'll deselect the selection and with this done I'm good to go and uh, so I loaded up the action previously from file and open and it will load up in the action panel if your action panel is not present over here you can uh, you can show it by going to window and actions so it will pop up your actions panel and uh, so now you select this chroma r2 and now this chroma to photoshop action this is the action folder the action set you cannot play from here you have to select the action inside it so uh, with all other parameters set make sure your brush is uh, opacity is 100 percent flow is 100 percent and mode is normal with all this taken care we can run the action now i select this chroma r2 action and hit play it will take some time for the action to finish. Uh, we'll pause for from here and get back when it's done. Okay, so the action has finished running and this is the final result. So now let's quickly see what elements that we have got over here. So I would like to uh, tell uh, first about this layer. This is paint on layer mask with white to reveal the original detail. So if you think part of the original image has been hidden, some of the details uh, is missing here in the final rendition of the effect. So like eyes and nose and lips. You can simply select this layer mask and your brush is already selected. And you can simply uh, paint on this layer mask with white and make sure your white is selected over here. You can just paint on it and as you can see it will start revealing uh, more details um, of your main image okay now I'll zoom in a bit to show you the detail Okay, now let's see what elements we've got over here. So this is our background elements, and here we have our background patterns. So this one creates the main uh, brush strokes of the background. You can show hide this uh, subsequent layers, which will uh, create the background uh, pattern. As you can see, we have three layers here. So you can show hide this one, or you can change the opacity if you want to tone down the effects a bit. Next we have uh, pre different background colors. So here are 11 effects, color effects. You can simply show hide them by toggling this eyeball icon and you can apply this color onto the background with a single click. And this is the inverse. It uh, turns the background to a more darker shade. You can try this and also you can change the gradient color from here. You can choose any color you want. As you can see, it's starting to apply on the background you can experiment out on your own and uh, find out what suits best for the image that you are trying to apply the effect on next we have our background splatters i'll zoom in a bit to show you the splatters so here are the splatters what you can do is you can show hide them show hide the splatters or you can select the layer mask and take your brush and color black to paint on them as you can see if I paint with black it will hide them and if I paint with white it will start showing them so I'll paint over this area and so it's hiding because I'm painting with black and now if I switch to white it will start showing so you can try and experiment out if you think uh, you want to hide some areas of the sputters you can try and do this next we have our background textures so as you can see you can simply hide this one and you'll get a flatter background but i recommend you turn this on so you get a brush stroke like feature on the background so these are all of the background elements and next we have our image elements so first we have our image core elements here we have the three parts first is the abstract color painting 
the main base of the image and then we have two parts real color abstract tone and real color painting you can change the opacity of these two layers and even show and hide them as you can see if i hide both of them i'll get more abstract colored strokes and if i start showing them you get to see that you're getting uh, the main uh, the real color of your image is reveling slowly so also what you can do is you can change the opacity of these layers if you want to tone down the real color and reveal the underlying abstract uh, colorful painting strokes uh, so you can play around with the opacity and uh, see what suits best according to your composition next we have image toning so i'd recommend you keep them as it is and the next is the layer where you can paint on the layer mask with the white to show your original color uh, original details also so just as i showed you a few moments earlier next we have our image splatters so these are the splatter elements over the image and what you can do is if you think a few of the splatters are on areas where you don't want them you can simply select any selection tool like rectangular marquee or lasso tool paint tool you can select and then select the move tool and move them around next we have image textures and if you hide them you'll get a flatter image like you're seeing right now but i recommend you turn them on to get the painting like strokes brush strokes on your image next we have our default toning i again recommend you keep this turn on but uh, you can also turn it off and try apply tones uh, from your overall adjustments so before coming to the overall adjustments here we have the 10 pre different color presets which you can again show by simply enabling these layers by clicking this eyeball icon and here is the overall adjustments where we have overall levels double click to bring up the levels adjustment panel and you can change the levels from here we have brightness and contrast next overall curves Use saturation, overall gradient map, overall gradient fill. You can change the gradient color. You can change the orientation, the size, and also you can play around with the blend mode. And last, we have our solid color overlay. Well, that covers of our elements which are generated. And one fun thing is, this all elements are generated at random. So if you want to try a different uh, look of the final image, you can simply delete this folder and again run your action, and you will get an entirely different effect every time you run it so i'll fast forward and see what we get after this run yeah so the action has finished running and this is the final effect for uh this try and i'll again reveal some detail on the eye and nose and mouth and also i can turn down the opacity of this layers to reveal the color effect a bit more Yeah, and every time again you can delete this one and run it to get a entirely different effect. So that's all for the Chrome Art to Photoshop action. I hope you like it. See you soon.